All right, let's count edges and vertices and faces. Our first question says, how many vertices does this object have? The word vertices starts with a V and that has a vertice. A vertice is where corners, where edges meet to make a corner. So let's work top to bottom. We are going to circle them as we go. One, two, three, four. I have four on the top. Let's count the bottom. One, two, three. Now, let's pretend we're Superman for a minute and we can look through objects that normally can't be seen through. The bottom of a cube is a square. That means that there's a point of vertex on the other side. So that means I have four on the top and four on the bottom for a total of how many? Eight. Next, how many faces does this object have? Well, let's see. I know that there is a triangle here and a triangle on the other side. So I have two triangles. Okay, but what other shapes are used to make this? I'm using rectangles. Here's a rectangle on this side. Okay, I'm going to erase this so you can see the other sides. There is a rectangle on the bottom so we're up to two triangles and two rectangles. And then there is another rectangle on the other side. So there are two triangles and three rectangles. So how many total faces does it have? There are a total of five faces. Next, how many faces does this have? Okay, this is a triangular pyramid, meaning the base is a triangle. So first thing I need to do is count what I can see. So I can see one triangle here, and I can see one triangle there. So right now, I have two triangles that I can see but there's other triangles I can't see, like the base. The base is a triangle. So that means I have another triangle on the bottom and on the side I can't see, let's be Superman, we have a triangle on the back side as well. So that means how many faces do I have which happen to all be triangles? There are four. Let's try another one. How many faces does this have? We already did this one, but let's review. Okay, how many triangles do we have for faces here? And on the back side, there's two. How many rectangles do we have? We have one on the bottom. We have one on the side. And then we have one more on the other side. So there are three rectangles. So that means I have a total of how many faces? I have five. Next, how many edges does this object have? Now, if I had this object in front of me, say like a tissue box, I could touch every single edge. An edge is where two plane figures meet to form that straight line. So basically what we're doing is we're tracing to create it again. So I'm going to trace the top first. So I have one edge, two edges, three edges, four edges. So I have four on the top. Now let's go down. One, two, three, but there's also one on the back side. Four, so there's four more. Then we have to count the ones on the bottom because we have our base, that's a rectangle. One, two, three, four. So there's four more. So we have four on the top, four edges going down, and four edges going around the bottom. So how many is that all together? Four plus four 
plus 4 equals 12. How many edges does this object have? Again, edges are where the sides meet. Okay, so let's trace. One, two, three edges. Four, five edges. And then one that we can't see is six. There are six edges. Next one, how many vertices does this have? Remember, vertices are the corners. Let's circle. One, two, three, four on top. Five, five, six, seven, and I'm gonna trace it to show that last corner, eight. So there's eight here. Next, how many faces does this object have? Okay, faces are the, flat, the flat shapes used to create solids. What's nice about this is I can think of a cube as a die that you roll in a game, okay? So I have one, two, three, okay? But then I also have the back side, which is four, this back side that you can't see, which is five, and the one underneath, which is six. So this object has six faces. How many faces does this object have? I'm going to give you a big hint. It's similar to a cube. So I can see one, two, and three there. But I can't see the other side. There is a rectangle, a face on the back side there. That gives us four. We have another one right here, which gives us five, the opposite side of the two. And underneath my base, which gives me six. So there are six faces on this one as well. Let's do one more. How many edges does this have? We just did faces. Let's do edges. Remember, edges is when I trace it and count the sides. One, well, let's do that one again. Let's trace the sides. One, two, three, four edges up top. Let's go down the sides. One, two, three, and there's one in the back. Four, because we can't see through it. And then our base is also a rectangle, so we have to trace. One, two, three, four. The bottom also has four. So how many total edges do I have? Four plus four plus four equals 12. Great job today.